Hi, I'm Scott. I'm a plumbing contractor. And I'm Kathy, and I work with my husband. We have a wonderful son named Cody. He's smart, funny, and a super athlete. But there's one thing we just can't stand. <laughs> you like that? His girlfriend sucks. This is Cody. He's dating Natalie. They've been together for five months, and Cody thinks they make a great team. But his parents want to kick her to the curb. So they're setting Cody up on two blind dates with girls they've each handpicked just for him. If you think this is hard for Cody, imagine how tough it will be for Natalie when she sits down with his parents and they watch the dates together. Close your eyes. Oh, my God! Ah, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Shut up. At the end of the day, Cody will have to decide which girl he wants to keep seeing, his girlfriend Natalie or one of the new girls his parents have selected for him. Cody is about to get sacked by parental control. Hey guys, I'm Cody. My girlfriend's name is Natalie. She's sweet, she's hot, and she's my number one fan. First of all, Natalie is always playing with her hair. She's constantly twirling it, smelling it, even tasting it. Hey, hey Natalie, you may be hair today, but you'll be gone tomorrow. And Natalie is so clingy. She hangs on him like a damn monkey. I want to come. Cody doesn't dump her, I'm gonna go ape Me too. And Natalie might look sweet, but she has a horrible temper. No reception. You idiot! Ugh. Get out of that bathroom now! This girl has some serious anger management issues. She really needs help. It's kind of scary. <laughs> and have you ever heard the way Natalie laughs? Ugh, so obnoxious. Don't worry, honey, we'll get the last laugh when Cody dumps her ass. Natalie, you're nothing but an annoying little bug. Yeah, a bug that's gonna get squished. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for mom and dad to meet the potential blind dates for Cody. I'm Heather. Hi, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm Alex. I'm Jazz. Hi, I'm Kathy. What do you do for a living? I'm studying communications. I do costuming for theater. I'm a party promoter. I model for a clothing store. Right now I'm going to school and I'm studying journalism. I'm a freelance makeup artist. So how is my makeup today? Your foundation doesn't quite match, but it's, it's OK. OK, thank you. I'm actually a lacrosse coach. I am a new photographer. I take pictures while I'm new. Alcohol and cigarettes have warning labels. If you had a warning label, what would it say? Warning. Danger. Caution. Please don't take offense. Sometimes I could be a big flirt. Do not give me sugar. Warning, there's two of me because I do have my identical twin sister. Double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> warning, you may become attached. Danger. Do not touch will cause lifetime commitment. Playing with me could leave you very sore. Uh, what, what is that supposed to mean? They'll be in bed for a couple of days just because I work them so hard. OK, thank you. Our son Cody is the star of his football team. Get up and show us how you cheer for him. OK, I can try. I'm the cheerleader. Sure. T-O-U-C-H-D-O-W-N. Touchdown for Cody. Go, fight with. I'm blonde. I'm busty. All the other girls are musty. Go, Cody, go. Pick me and dump that. Bonds, prends le ballon. Oui, Cody, Cody. C O D Y. Come on, Cody, make them cry. Woo! Oh, oh my good. Cody's handsome. So are you. You should pick me because I love you. Cody's great. Cody's hot. Cody's everything. You're not. Do I look like a cheerleader to you? <sighs> Why should we pick you to date Cody? He won't have a sad moment with me. Because it'd be a change of pace for him. I have all my fingers and toes. I'm from the South, so I'd show that Southern hospitality. Obviously, I'm happy all the time, and I'm a very positive person, so you know he'll be having a great time. I have all my teeth. Because I'm cute, I'm outgoing, I'm athletic. OK, good answer. I do shave my armpits. Very nice, very nice. Because I'm eye candy, and I'll make your son look a whole hell of a lot better. 
Because I'm the cat's pajamas. I'm the bee's knees. <laughs> we can see you really think highly of yourself. I rule. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon. And good luck. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Hey, uh, door's over here. Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, I saw two or three I really liked. Let's see. I'm going to pick her. OK. I like this one. Natalie's history. All right. So here's what's up. My mom and dad think my girlfriend Natalie sucks. So they've each set me up on a blind date. My dad's choice is up first, and he's really into sports. So I'm hoping I can talk football with this girl. This is really annoying. Like, how would you feel if I was going on a date with two other guys? That would be great if you did. Can you just shut up? You have a definite problem with your temper. Anger management. Oh my God, shut them up. Stop Can you just me. tell them to shut up? Thank God. Hi, Heather. Come on in. Hi, thank you. Heather's a great choice. She's smart, beautiful, and funny. She's everything that an 18-year-old boy could possibly want. This is my handsome son, Cody. Hi. Obviously, I'm happy all the time, and I'm a very positive person, so you know he'll be having a great time. And this is his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. When Heather first walked in, I thought, who ordered the ass face sorority sister? Not me. You ready to go, Cody? Babe, I'll be back. Don't worry. Don't be Let so clean. Go. The first thing I noticed about Heather was her hair. I can't wait to find out if blondes really do have more fun. Cody and Heather are off to cook up some fun, while mom, dad, and girlfriend Natalie get to watch it all go down right from their living room. Aw, what's the matter? Nothing to cling to? At least I'm not clinging to 40. Shut up and watch this. Today I'm just taking you to one of the hottest restaurants in LA, and it has a pretty exotic menu, so. Well, my motto is, I'm down to try anything once, so. <laughs> I'll remember that. All right. Oh, big shock. She wants to go eat. Boom, baba, boom, baba, boom. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Andrew. This is my date, Cody. Hi. How are you? How are you? What are we going to cook up uh, for today? Cricket, and white sea worm, octopus, frog leg, pig penis. Did you say pig penis? Yes, pig penis. Oh, oh hell no. All right. Look, this is great. He's learning how to cook some new things. <laughs> OK, I have a pan ready for you over here. Put it in the oil. All right. Good luck. All right. You got it? Thank you. Yeah. I I'm good. <laughs> That's disgusting. Bam! Frog <laughs> like. <laughs> so bad. Ew. The pig penis. All right, you go for it. <laughs> How do you feel? They're cooking up your penis. <laughs> me. You're an idiot. <laughs> Let's see what happened over here. Let's see, take a look. Cody, you can become a chef now. <laughs> so, you can wait for me dining, and I will okay. go out and serve for you. Come on. <laughs> so, tell me, what's the first thing you notice on a girl? I'm definitely a butt guy. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, do you, do you have a nice butt or what? I can show you. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. How do you like it? Wow, that is pretty nice. You can touch it, we'll bite. Oh, all right. Don't touch it. Dang. <laughs> he doesn't even want to touch it, he poked it. Oh, uh, what's the matter, Natalie? You feel left out? You want to poke my butt? Ew, get away. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get my hair. Food's ready, guys. All right. We right. have a chef special for today, scorpion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. The, uh, yeah, you got the pig penis. penis on your side. <laughs> Frog legs. Okay. Enjoy. I don't suppose you'd ever try that with him, would you? Answer the question. You. That's the answer. Ow! Hey! Thank you. Alrighty, let's try the scorpion first. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little lime on mine. Are you? Yeah. All right. You ready? Alrighty. Okay. Ready? All right. On three. <laughs> How could he put something so nasty in his mouth? He's kissed you, hadn't he? How about we try the uh, frog legs? All right. <laughs> so 
do you want to try the crickets? <laughs> Mm, this is disgusting. All right, well, what do you say about trying the pig penis? I'm ready. I think I can do it. All right, well, have you ever seen Lady in the Tramp? Yeah. How about we do what they did with the spaghetti with the pig penis? <laughs> sure. If he eats a pig's dong, I think our relationship is over. Hope he puts that whole thing in his mouth. Yeah, they're eating a pig. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty full. I know, I'm full from all these ants and everything, so <laughs> how about we get you home? Yeah, that's fine. All right. What a great oh. day. I can't believe your son just ate a pig's dork. Hell, he could eat the pig's balls as long as he's not on a date with you. I just got back from my date with Heather, and damn, that girl is hot. My mom's choice is up next, and mom loves to laugh. So I know she'll pick a girl that'll put a huge smile on my face. Cody, there's a lot of the fish in the sea. That's right. I hate you both. I'm going to kick your husband's ass. You think you're a black belt or what? At least I can wear a belt. That is just rude. She's here. Good to see you, Alex. Come on in. Thank you. The reason I picked Alex is because she's smart, beautiful, athletic. She has the whole package. Cody is going to love her. And this is Cody. Hi. I'm fun. I'm willing to do, you know, stuff that most people wouldn't. And this is my son's parasite, Natalie. Hopefully he can have her removed. Hello. Am I the only person that thinks Alex is going to be on a feeding tube? I mean, that girl is way too skinny. You ready to go on our date? Yeah. When Alex walked through the door, the first thing I noticed was her smile. I just knew we were going to have a good time. Cody and Alex are off to rev up some romance, while Mom, Dad, and Natalie are back at the house, ready to see how things unfold. That girl's a twig. I'll snap her in half. You're thinking of Twix. That's what you snap in half. No, your fat-ass husband is thinking of Twix. You call him fat, lard-ass. So, what do you think? I ran out the whole parking lot just for us. Cool, but uh, what are we going to be doing out here? Today, we're going to be doing a thing I like to call auto art. Auto art? What's yeah. that? Come back here to the trunk, I'll show you. She is so cute. Well, at least she dressed up for the date. That was sarcasm. I didn't know you knew what sarcasm meant. I know she can't spell it. Screw you. Here's what I've already done. I've taken four windshield wiper tanks, mounted it to this board, clear tubing, and I hooked it up to all four wheel wells with some sprayers so that the paint sprays evenly. And then I have a push button trigger in the front. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Now all we have to do is lay down the canvas. All right. No girl knows how to do that kind of She looks pretty girly to me. All right, let's roll it out, man. <laughs> oh, look at you doing all the work now. <laughs> Trying to make me look too girly, come on. Oh, wow, they're laying out a canvas. What are they going to do on the next date? Paint your house? So you're saying there's going to be a next date? No. Oh, snap. All right, now that the canvas is down, just one more thing. Oh, OK. OK, now that that top's off, my top comes off. <laughs> She's got nicer boobs than you. And my boobs are just fine. I was talking about your husband. Wow. You are hot. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so now you're ready for some auto art? Hell yeah. Perfect. All right, start pushing the buttons now. <laughs> Lou, ready? Go. Woo! <laughs> Red. Woo! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Ah. <laughs> ah. All right, now it's time to switch. Are you ready? I'm ready to switch. OK, <laughs> let's go. That's creative right there. I mean, who would think of that? You know, this is. Exactly, it's really the lamest fun. thing ever. Who would think of that? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Blue, <laughs> green. Make it R. <laughs> Love auto <Ottawa>. yeah. <laughs> Woo! Is this how you put your makeup on in the morning? <laughs> Woo! This is the best date ever. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't I go put on a shirt and we go get some food? I'm starved. All right, there you go. All right. 
You're a badass driver. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Oh, you're a badass driver. You're amazing. Oh. All she can do is laugh. Oh, she's an idiot. You're the one with the stupid laugh. <laughs> You know what, you have a little something on your face. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> you got a little something right there, too. <laughs> That's <not> fair. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Slut, watch your mouth. Watch yours, your collagen's falling out. Okay, well, it is getting late, and I do have to get you home. But before we leave, I just want to give you a little something. Right. Close your eyes. <laughs> no, he didn't. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't think you can stand a chance after this. Oh, probably. we'll see about that. We'll put a knife in you. You're done. What, honey? I think it's pork. So I just got back from my day with Alex, and it was amazing. Now I have to make a decision. Do I stay with Natalie or ditch her for one of these hotties? I don't know what I'm going to do. Now it's time for Cody to make a decision. Will he choose Heather, the bug-eating beauty? Or Alex, the girl who drove him wild? Or will he choose Natalie, his girlfriend of five months and the person his parents can't stand? Hey ladies, you're all so great, which makes this a really hard decision. But before I make my choice, I'm giving you each one last chance to tell me why I should pick you. Cody, you should pick me because we had a killer date, I kick ass, and I look good in a bathing suit. Cody, what can I say? You're a football player, I'm a cheerleader. We make a great match. Sweetie, seriously, who are you fooling? You know you're gonna pick me. Thanks, ladies. But I have to eliminate someone right now. Heather, you're such a sweetheart, and you have an awesome body. But seriously, did you think feeding me bugs would win my heart? I'm gonna have to eliminate you right now. Your loss. You know, I just got eliminated, but I still have a big smile on my face because that's who I am. Now, for the hard part. Alex, I really liked how I could totally be myself around you, but I'm afraid hanging with you might be too much like hanging with one of the guys. And Natalie, I love how you make me laugh, but sometimes I wonder if you're ready for a real relationship. So I've made my decision, and the girl I choose is... Natalie. watching the paint dry on our canvas than hanging out with you. I don't know what Cody was thinking. I think he's been hitting the head too many times with the football. I, I don't know. know what's happening. I think I that know. girl's gonna give me an ulcer, I'm telling you. I feel good right now. What about you? Well, let me show you. Pucker up. Ah!